International collaboration is an incredibly important part of clinical trials research. The Breast Cancer Trials Research Program includes collaboration with 15 different countries and international world-renowned clinical trials groups and researchers. This includes researchers such as Dr Stuart McIntosh, who is a specialist breast surgeon at Belfast City Hospital and a clinical senior lecturer in surgical oncology at Queen's University in Belfast. He was also an international guest speaker at this year's Breast Cancer Trials Annual Scientific Meeting. We caught up with him before his presentation to see what breast cancer clinical trials are currently open in the UK and what the possibility is of these studies extending to Australia and New Zealand. So I think we have some very exciting studies in the UK. Tomorrow I'm going to be talking about what we call de-escalation studies, which are about reducing treatment to try and minimise the complications or side effects that go with breast cancer treatment without compromising their effectiveness. So we've got some very exciting studies coming up looking at minimally invasive treatment for small breast cancers found through the breast screening program, for example, using um, ultrasound or x-ray guided biopsy techniques to remove cancers. We have some studies looking at omitting radiotherapy in women with very low risk cancer because obviously radiotherapy like surgery is not without potential side effects or complications and the prime time study is looking at women who have very low risk disease, can we safely omit radiotherapy from them? Um, we have ongoing studies looking at what are called multi-parameter tests, which are gene expression assays, which are basically a test that you do on the tumour uh, tissue that's been removed to see which genes are turned on, which genes are turned off, that can give us an indication of risk of recurrence and trying to use th that information to guide the use of chemotherapy in certain groups of patients. So the Optima trial is looking at that in patients who have estrogen sensitive lymph node positive patients. And we also have some studies in development looking at omitting surgery after uh, neoadjuvant or pre-surgical chemotherapy to see patients who have apparently have a complete response to their treatment. Is there any benefit to taking out something that's not actually there? Probably not, but we need to prove that. So the new surgery trials in the UK are going to, going to address that issue. Australia and New Zealand have a great history with the UK collaboration. Mm -hmm. Do you think these trials could open up uh, in Australia and New Zealand? I think so. I think in Australia and New Zealand you've done a fantastic job collaborating on the Poznok trial, for example, looking at uh, axillary surgery after sentinel node biopsy. And there's some great recruitment here. There's obviously great enthusiasm for clinical trials, as, as evidenced by this meeting. Um, and... So yes, I would hope we will be able to collaborate on, on some of these studies. That was Dr Stuart McIntosh, a specialist breast surgeon and experienced breast cancer clinical trialist. If you'd like to learn more about breast cancer trials or you'd like to support our life-saving research, follow us on social media or visit our website at breastcancertrials.org.au.